Today we are talking about some things that I bought recently because I had a couple of gift cards and I've run out of a few products recently. So I hit the stores to go replenish them. And you know when you go to the store with a gift card, you always come home with extra things. The first product I have to share with you guys is a blush that I've actually already used a couple of times. I'm wearing it right now. It is the Becca blush in the shade Tiger Lily. How? gorgeously orange is this. I love orange toned blushes in the summertime. They are a staple in my beauty routine and this one is so gorgeous. It has a shimmer to it, but it's not overly shimmery once you apply it on the skin. Like it's not like a disco ball orange. It's super pigmented too. Like when I use this, I do like a tap, like a ghost tap in the powder because it is very pigmented. It is a little bit dark to go too crazy on my skin tone, but like, look at that. That is so beautiful. The next product I picked up is new from Marc Jacobs Beauty and it is their Glow Stick Glistening Illuminator in the color Spotlight. The first thing that caught my eye about this is the beautiful glossy white packaging. I think that's so pretty. And this is just a stick form highlighter that you can twist up here at the bottom. And this is what it looks like. It's a creamy iridescent pearl color and I thought it would just be a really nice highlighting color for summer. That's quite intense, but you could take just a couple of taps of this and put it on the high points of your face, your cheekbones, bridge of your nose, anywhere else you want a little glow. And I love creamy highlighters. I think they look so natural. This next product is something that you guys on Twitter told me I had to try, and it is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is kind of a cult favorite. I've heard tons of people talk about this product in the past, but I've never tried it because it's loose and I am really clumsy with loose powders. And I just finished up my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and was in need of a new setting powder. So I decided to try it. I am slightly skeptical because loose powders, I just get them everywhere. So I don't know if the product will be good enough to make up for the mess I will probably make with it. But this has so many five-star ratings on the Sephora website. You guys recommended it to me, so I'm hoping that it's awesome. Then because my skin's been a little bit oily in my T-zone recently, I picked up some blotting papers and I have not used blotting papers on my face since I was probably 14 or 15. I had, I think it was the clean and clear ones that I kept in my bag in high school and my skin was so oily and I would try to race to the bathroom between like second and third period and fourth and fifth period to blot my skin to get the oil off of it. Oh, I do not miss those days at all. But I've been looking at my skin recently when it gets a little bit oily and I've been thinking instead of just packing more powder on like setting powder and stuff, maybe I should try some oil blotting papers. So I picked up these Shiseido Pureness papers, found them at Sephora and I'm going to give them a try. Then I have a few new hair products to share with you guys. The first one is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Conditioner Spray. I have never used a dry conditioner. I've only used dry shampoo, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of dry shampoo, but I've always been a little bit like, uh, what's the point with dry conditioner? You're supposed to use this kind of like dry shampoo, except to use it on the bottom half of your hair to add a little bit of moisture on the second day and to keep things shiny and sleek. And I'm hoping it doesn't just weigh my hair down. We'll see. Then something I've been meaning to replenish for a while now is the Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo. Use it once a week to get extra buildup and hair products off of your hair and get it squeaky clean. And I've used it before. I really liked it. and. I was out of clarifying shampoo, so I picked another one up. Then the last hair product I picked up is something that's been on my wish list for so long now. I have wanted to try this for a year or two, and it is the Orbe, I think it's pronounced, I don't know how it's pronounced, the Opre Beach Wave and Shine Spray. It's basically Orbe's version of a beachy spray for your hair. I've only ever tried the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, which is amazing, but I haven't tried any other Orbe products because they're definitely splurgy but I have been so curious about this one. And now that we're going into summer and beachy hairstyles, I really wanted to try this out. The directions say, spray on wet or dry hair, tossle to taste and let dry in the Saint Tropez air, follow with lipstick and heels. So here's hoping that I'll love it. I need to get my curling wand out and start trying out some beachy hairstyles with this and see what it does. And that is it for my haul. I have some new products to try out. I will have all of these linked down in the info bar if you would like to check them out for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.